Hello and welcome back to Mayhem with your host May May. Hi there. Today I want to introduce you to the Worry Monster. We all know this guy. He gnaws at the back of your mind. He claws at your subconscious whether you're awake or not. He's the guy who keeps you awake in the morning. He's the guy who keeps you awake at night. He's the guy who haunts you when you drive your car to work. All the time you spend worrying about what this person thinks or what that person thinks, or you worry about, did I leave the oven on? Did I lock my door? Are my dogs okay? Are my dogs eating my food? All of these things are the worry monster. And I find that in my life, the things that I worry about the most are the things that I put aside for later. The things that I'm like, okay, I got to do this, but I can do it tomorrow. Okay, I got to send a text to this person, but I could do it later. And then those things come back and they haunt me. They haunt my dreams. They wake me up at two in the morning when I know that I only have two more hours to sleep. They're awful. Um... It's a black hole monster that'll eat everything. It'll eat your time. It'll eat your effort. It'll eat your attention. And that's all the worry monster. All of these things that you have, your time, your attention, your effort, your worry, everything, your thoughts, your mind, your moments, all of these go into the black void that is with the worry monster stomach. And how do you prevent that? Well, first, you need to face them. You need to look at the worry monster. You need to notice his gentle, dark eyes of concern, the worry lines on his forehead, the creases right between his eyes. You need to see yourself in him. You need to recognize him. Then you approach him. You do not fear, but take care of whatever he's worried about. Listen to what he's worried about and take care of it. Don't put it off because it might be unpleasant. Don't put it off because it's something that you don't want to worry about right now. Don't put it off because you're feeling lazy and you're just feeling like you want to sit there. Do what he is bothering you about. And then if you can do this successfully, if you take care of it, then you'll finally be able to look at the worry monster and recognize him for what he is. Simply a mirror. Of yourself. The book I want to talk about today is called My Best Friend's Exorcism by a guy named Grady Hendrix. Grady Hendrix is kind of cool and these are books that I do not recommend getting on Kindle. These are books that you need to have in your hand because in his life prior to being an author, Grady Hendrix was a print editor. So some of the things that he has a lot of fun with in his books is like he wrote a book called Horror Store. And that book had um, ads, like Ikea ads, at the beginning of every chapter. And sometimes the way that he puts together his book is really interesting and unique. And the book I want to talk about today is called My Best Friend's Exorcism. So it's about a girl who is friends with another girl. And this other girl starts changing and starts becoming somebody different. And... Um, it's about how they go through this friendship together and how things change as they get a little bit older. And it's a beautiful book and it is very nostalgic. You read this book and it's like you're taking a trip back into your childhood because you remember so much of what he's talking about and it was so much a part of your life. Um, it's a disturbing, disturbing book. It's going to stay with you for a long time, but I highly recommend it. And I recommend it because anxiety is like the demon that possesses her friend. It's, it takes over everything and you become a completely different person when you're under the entrancing ideas of, of worry. And um, so that's my book recommendation for this week. He's coming out with another book next month called um, The Southern Vampire Club or something like that. And it looks like a lot of fun. The book that he wrote before that was about a musician. 
I haven't read that one. But I, I highly recommend Grady Hendrix. He's a lot of fun. So, this week, I, I think my mantra is going to be to avoid things that feed worry monster. I want to be direct. I want to be concise. I want to take care of business. And I want to move on with my life. I appreciate you listening. Thank you so much and have a great day.